Hi everyone, welcome to Blue Lotus Gardens. If you're new here, my name is Blue Phoenix. I make fun planting videos for my found knowledge, and then I also share with you all a plant vlog on Wednesdays of what I do as a uh, small business owner of my plant shop, Blue Lotus Gardens, and I might be doing like a, bit, like a little bit of uh, shipping an order or um, how I'm going to get some like some things started for for my plant uh, shop. In today's video, um, it's going to be a little bit of a long video. Um, it's Plant Care Tuesday um, from when I upload this video, uh, but it's also um, our one year anniversary of being open as a plant shop. It's been a really amazing journey. Um, I'm really I just want to say real quick that I'm super appreciative of everyone that has helped us uh, grow this far, um, that has subscribed to our channel, um, to our Instagram, that has followed us on Facebook, um, purchased our merch, uh, purchased plants from us on Instagram, on my website, on everything, who have donated, and who have supported, and just really like made sure that we are growing and uh, making it this far and continuing to grow. So I'm just really appreciative of that. Um, it's amazing. Um, so for real quick, for my one year anniversary, I'm doing a fun giveaway. Uh, you'll see a giveaway on our in our Instagram when I upload this video. Uh, but just want to give it a little sneak peek to you all. As you may know, um, I love begonias. Um, I've always am receiving begonias here and there from friends and trades and um, I've grown some really special begonias for this giveaway and I want to share these with you uh, all because uh, they were given to me as a gift so I have the original plants all the mother plants um, but I, these are the <clears throat> these are the ones that you'll be winning so a local winner will be winning one of our one of the begonias and then also someone um for shipping currently i am preparing um shipping containers shipping boxes um i'm gonna make sure i buy really nice special boxes um so that way when i ship it you will receive it in the most in the best condition that that i that i can um, um that you will receive it i'm gonna give you all a little close-up again These are really special to me and I really um, am just thankful to um, have made it this far and I, I just am so excited for the new growth that we'll be, we'll be, um, we'll be making. So real quick, so, so that way you all can know how to enter, you uh, subscribe to my channel, like my uh, my last vlog vlog number 13 comment your city and then also your Instagram handle that way I can contact you um, and also sort out which is for shipping and which is for local and then I'll do um, a live uh, live random raffle on Instagram on our Instagram and then that way um, you all can be a part of it and know um, when it will happen on August the 2nd um, I'll post more updates on our Instagram hopefully by now when I upload this video that <laughs> I have um, made our giveaway um, information everything on our Instagram and you all are more informed about it but this is what you'll be winning it's something really special to me and I just want you all to be have something that's um, special for our one year anniversary giveaway okay <laughs> That might have been a long intro, so sorry about that. So, for Plant Care Tuesday, um, I am repotting plants, um, philodendron, my alocasia bambino, um, and then also my silver glory uh, string of hearts. They've, as you see, they have all dried out. Um, I've been a little bit of a bad plant parent and neglected it. 
But also because of the way the reason why the allocation looks like this is because it's nutrient deficient and needs actually new soil. So I'll be repotting it to one of uh, a new clean container that I have over here. I'll also be doing that with my uh, Silver Glory String of Hearts. Um, I'll show you. So there's like new growth and everything, um, and they're, they're fine. <laughs> it's like the third time of my of doing this, and I just really I'm 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 learning that they don't do well in terracotta. It dries out too fast, and it doesn't really work well for them. Um, and then my philodendron moonlight, it just has gotten really big for its container. So what I'm gonna do is clean it, uh, clean the container, uh, and uh, place these begonia lenda dawn propagations that I have. I have two and then just let them grow out um, in here and we'll talk about that. Also here's a little here's a little update on my begonia uh, griffin. It has a new leaf that I put out and it has a new one growing. Um, so what I've been doing is uh, watering it a little bit with uh, diluted with diluted uh, coffee. So just a little bit poured over, see it sip through, and then it's fine. Then my Alocasia Latin Bacchiana is doing pretty well. And I've lost like a couple leaves, but there's like new growth coming in. That's what I figured was going to happen. Uh, usually what it, like, I've noticed when you... Um, introduce alocasias to a new space um, they will uh, end up losing a couple leaves but you'll see like new growth and you'll be like oh, okay that's fine so it's just that's basically acclimating itself just regrowing enough new growth from what it lost that's just what they do um, just like this bambino once I start to put it in here it'll be fine and so it's going from a four inch to a, uh, I believe this is like a, a six, this is a six inch. So I'll be doing that. Um, but yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna start off really easy and then just uh, start to repot uh, my Alocasia Bambino. So. So as you see, um, the root system is pretty good. Um, it's white, the roots are white, and um, they're pretty healthy, and they're starting to intertwine on the bottom. So it's a good time to start to um, up, up pot it. And when I said it was nutrient deficient, um, there's nothing wrong with the plants. It's just that the soil that it's in has basically like um, lost enough of its nutrients to where um, the, uh, the plant itself is looking for more, more nutrients. So that's also a time for when you want to repot it. So now we're just gonna. Um, now what I'm gonna do is uh, basically give it a nice uh, watering, and then I leave it in a cash pot for about a week. 
and then I try to make sure I look during that time that it's not like still in water the whole time um, and then it just grows that way it, and does well that's what I learned <laughs> Next, I am going to uh, place my string of glory from this pot to this container. And basically, every time I do this, uh, it takes about a month for the plant to really like start to show a lot of new growth. So I try not to disturb the root ball as much as I can as possible and um, and then just pretty much like cover the top with soil and then um, what I do here is I gently tap on the sides you all might might have seen me do this before um, but this is what I do gently tap on the sides like this And then with this, um, what you want to do is, um, I pretty much just put it in my in my shower, and then let the water uh, lightly uh, cover the top, and then I just um, allow that to like be watered that way. Um, what you want to do is do a light watering and allow it to like fully soak through. So um, while you're watering, you want to let, let the water um, soak through the soil um, and not let it overflow. And then that way, um, you know, just that way it actually like fully soaks the whole, um, the whole plant itself. And then um, what I've noticed is within like a month or two, you'll see really good new growth for it. So. <laughs> that was easy. Oh no.
So here's one. I think that looks great. So next, I'm actually gonna dress it a little, a little bit with artificial like dried moss. So I'm, I, I put, I'm gonna put a little bit of that uh, under here. It's like not only just aesthetically pleasing, it helps. Uh, It helps the, the foliage not touch the soil. I could infect it. Um, and then since this is um, a glazed pot, <clears throat> it doesn't require that much watering because it retains the water. So it's kind of like setting, basically just setting it up for, uh, for it to dry. So there you have it. I think that looks adorable. Uh, all I would have to do is just do light watering around the the, the, the edge of it and let the water soak into the, the container and uh, it'll do great like this. Begonias uh, do well in glazed containers. Um, when you set them up right, they will just, um, they'll thrive in it, you know. And as you saw, I didn't use any amendments. I just used straight soil. Um, I actually used uh, Miracle Miracle Bro soil. Uh, I'm not fond of it, but it is what it is, and that's what was available. And I needed to do some repotting, so I did that. I usually, we'll just uh, add the the moss to actually like planters, not like the containers, because they're not um, gonna really need it. All right, everyone, thank you so much for joining me today um, and watching my video, uh, subscribing to my channel and supporting us um, this far so that way we grow into a one year or one year anniversary. Um, I have I have so many, so many things planned for the for my plant shop. Um, and we're just one step closer to one day actually having a retail location. So in the future, you know, this is this is my dream. This is my passion. I am just enjoying every moment of it and sharing all my found knowledge with you all links are down below um, if there's if you are if you all would like to support us um, I'm ever so thankful for you all and you all are just amazing thank you so much y'all have a good day bye everyone